Hey everybody, Beefy here. I'm the creator of an online multiplayer level series called the Dralic series for Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2. And I've been an avid member of the JK community since the beginning of its release back in 1997. And I'm here today to show you all a nice easy way to set up Dark Forces 2 so you can play online multiplayer without the need to open ports or expose your IP address to others over the internet. It will be a combination of a free VPN service called Radmin VPN and an IPX wrapper. So let's get to it. Now back in the early days of JK, playing multiplayer online made use of the Internet Gaming Zone, which was a website you could log into and play a large list of multiplayer games available at the time. This was the Internet's way of bringing people together with chat rooms and game tables where people could host their own games and others could join. It was a brilliant time for internet gaming that spawned the first of many true online gaming communities before the adoption of in-game server lists that we see in many online games today. The Microsoft Internet Gaming Zone, or the Zone as we called it back in the day, made use of DirectX Direct Play, which made gaming over the internet easy and fast for online gamers with less than awesome internet connections. Most of the players back in the late 90s used 56k modems that connected over a phone line, which was very slow and unstable when compared to today's lightning fast internet connections. But some people like myself lived out in the boonies, which made my internet connection even worse. And uh, you know the connection speeds were somewhere like half the speed of a 56k connection and like double the latency, so it wasn't great. But, with the use of the zone, direct play, and our crappy internet speeds, we were able to play amazing games online with friends, with confidence. It was truly the golden era of gaming. As time progressed, technology got better and better, and eventually, Microsoft decided to shut down the zone due to its now obsolete way of finding multiplayer games online. This made many of the older online gaming communities that respond in the zone essentially homeless and left to find their own paths moving forward. And I was among one of these gaming communities and was heartbroken when Microsoft chose to close the doors to our beloved Nar Shada game room. But within our little gaming community resided some very intelligent and creative people who were able to maintain the online presence of Dark Forces 2 within services like IRC and Voobly, uh, Game Ranger, and now Discord, which you can find the links to our chat rooms in the description below. So for the last 20 plus years, we've been playing Dark Forces 2 online through means of sharing IP addresses of the players who host the game, and then the clients would join that IP address through the game itself. It has proven to be a reliable method without any requirement of outside gaming platforms like the Zone. But after some time, routers became standard in almost every household and made it more difficult for games to communicate online because of their built-in security measures. Whereas before, when your PC was connected directly to a modem, none of these security measures were implemented unless you had already had some form of firewall installed on your system, so connecting to other players was pretty easy. However, many older games used certain ports or port ranges through the network to communicate data to and from each other, which all routers have closed or disabled by default. So now that the use of routers do not allow our older games to send data through these ports, this is where the method of port forwarding became standard for playing online multiplayer in older games. This is a process of telling your router to make certain ports available for the program you want to use. To some, this was no problem, and to others, this felt like programming a spaceship. Not everyone is savvy with modifying settings within a computer system, and it can be overwhelming to some. This led to a decline in older gaming communities due to the fact that it was just too much of a pain in the ass to get the thing to work. Not even mentioning the patches and fixes needed to actually get the game to run on modern systems. We can get into that later, but this video here is to address the method of connecting to other players as easy and painless as possible. So as time marches on, so does technology. And in 2023, we now have internet service providers, or ISPs, that make use of wireless connections like 5G or even satellite. These ISPs are wonderful, but they utilize a thing called CGNAT, which stands for Carrier Grade Network Address Translation. This is entirely too complex to explain in this video, but I will summarize this by saying it makes port forwarding impossible. And therefore, our games cannot connect to each other. So anyone with this type of internet service is completely hopeless if they want to play these older online games with friends. 
That's where I come in. Now as you can see I'm currently in my fifth wheel trailer. I'm located on a remote piece of land where a commonly used ISP that you would find in the city is just unavailable. Thanks to service providers like Starlink, I can have high speed internet out in the boonies that's really fast and as well as quick enough for online gaming thanks to its low latency beam forming to the satellites. But playing modern online games is usually no problem, but with these older games like Dark Forces 2, there is only one way that I'm able to actually play this game online, and that is by the use of a free online VPN program called Radmin and the installation of an IPX wrapper. The links to these are in the description below. These two small downloads working together allow old direct play type games to communicate together regardless of the ISP being used. So, Radman allows computers to enter a private room on the internet, very much like a game table on the old internet gaming zone. People within this room are now essentially connected to each other through a virtual network similar to that of a local area network, or LAN for short. If you're familiar with what a LAN is, you'll understand that a LAN is a network of computers within a small area such as a home or office. But Radman allows us to do this over the internet, which will then trick our old games into believing we're actually in the same building. So installing Radman is a piece of piss. Simply download the installer, install it, and then start it. You will be brought to this window, which features a big on-off button as well as an IP address. This IP address is your computer's IP address within this virtual network. The big on-off button simply turns on and off your connection to this virtual network. To join a private room where everyone can come together to play, simply click Network, then click Join Network. In our case, we want to join a gaming network because we want to be able to play our beloved Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2 online. So, we click Gaming Network, and in the box, type Star Wars. A list of games beginning with Star Wars comes up, and there's a lot of them. And we will double click the one that says Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2. We are now in a private virtual network where other players using Radmin can host and join games. All of the other computers in this network are connected together similar to that of a LAN. This means if we start Dark Forces 2 and then host a game, other people looking to join that game can easily find it within the game's game list. No more IP addresses are required. However, this is where the IPX wrapper comes into play. This is a simple patch that allows Dark Forces 2 to use the IPX protocol rather than the classic TCP IP protocol, which makes online play possible. Simply download the IPX wrapper and follow these instructions. First, place all four of the DLL files into the same directory where your Dark Forces 2 installation is located. That's the same directory where jk.exe is located. Next, put the remaining files anywhere you like. I've made my own folder called IPX Wrap within my Dark Forces 2 installation and I just put them in there. Next, double click the directplay-win64.reg or directplay-win32.reg depending on what bit depth your Windows installation is. Most people with more than 4 GB of RAM use a 64-bit Windows operating system, so typically you will want to use the one that has Win64 on the end. This will ask you if you want to add this key to the Windows registry. Click Yes to do so. Now, find the ipxconfig.exe file and right-click it and click Run as Administrator. When this opens, pull down the top box that says Primary Interface and select Famitech Radmin VPN Ethernet Adapter. Make sure the checkbox is to Enable Interface and Automatically Create Windows Firewall Exceptions are checked. Then hit Apply, then hit OK. Now we are able to host and join games within Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2. To host a game, simply click Multiplayer, then Host. This box will pop up. We used to click the TCP IP protocol at this point, but we now we want to use the IPX protocol, so double click that. Now find your level, set your force levels and other game settings, and then hit OK. If your JK installation is working properly, which is a whole different video, you will be auto-magically transported to your game and other players can now see it when they look for a game to join. To join the game, simply click multiplayer, then join. Select the IPX protocol, 
and this box will pop up with any games being hosted from players within the Radman VPN Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2 game room and have the IPX wrapper installed at the same time. That's it. You're now playing Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2 online multiplayer with friends, baby, over the internet on any ISP that exists in 2023. Like I said, that also all depends on if you had already set up JK to work on a modern computer and operating system. There are some patches and fixes required to do that, which we pretty much got figured out by now. So we can help you out with that once you join our JK Community Discord channel. And you can get those links below. Or you can check out my website for that information to view at your own leisure. We highly recommend you join our Discord channels though. The JK community is still strong and hopefully this will allow new players to come play with us without being scared away by too much modification and annoying port forwarding crap. JK is still a very fun game to play online and through time has grown stronger with graphical updates and mods and levels and so much more. So we invite you to join us and get in on the action for this legendary first person shooter. So thank you very much for watching and I hope this has helped you. Please hit that like button to show your support as well as that subscribe button if you don't mind. I'm very grateful for that and don't forget to check out all my other Dark Forces 2 levels that have been very popular and fun within the community. There's tons of videos on this channel that show them in action so be sure to check those out. Thanks again. See you around.